Okay, so this simulation is used to um, measure the voltage in an electrochemical cell. So an electrochemical cell, we're going to have a voltmeter, and then we've got two beakers which are separated by a salt bridge. So a salt bridge um, contains an electrolyte. In this case, we've got sodium nitrate. And that allows the flow of ions between the two different beakers. Now, to set up our cell, we need to add an electrode. So I'm going to add over this side, I'm going to add magnesium. And then we're going to add copper over on this side. Now, when so we've got our electrode, we now need to add um, our solution. So the solution should ma make sure that the solution matches the metal. So if you're using magnesium, you've got magnesium nitrate. If we use the wrong one, it's not going to work. Okay, so you have to make sure that you use the right one. And so I want copper on this side. And then you can just go ahead and measure the voltage. So if we were at school completing this experiment, that's the voltage that you would get. Okay, um, And it's a positive voltage and it's 2.7. Now this tells us that the direction that the electrons are flowing. Okay, So electrons are going to flow from the negative terminal. Okay, So because they're electrons, they're th flowing through the wire and they're going to flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Okay, So electrons are little negative charges. And they flow from here to the positive charge. So if it is a positive voltage, which we've got here, positive voltage, okay, this tells us that at this negative terminal here, which is connected to magnesium, this is going to be the more reactive metal. Okay, so magnesium is the more reactive metal and it's flowing from magnesium to copper. If I needed to change these around, um, so I'm going to click, click on copper and do copper nitrate. Over this side, I want magnesium and magnesium nitrate. Now, once I've swapped those around and I've measured my cell voltage, okay, you will notice that you might actually end up with a negative voltage. Okay, so it's exactly the same value, but it's just negative. Okay, and that means that you've actually connected your circuit, um, the metals to the wrong terminals. So rather than the electrons flowing from the negative to the positive, they're trying to flow from the positive to the negative. Okay, so this negative, okay, is telling you that it's flowing from the positive to the negative. Um, so you want to make sure that you swap them around so you always get a positive value. Okay, so that means magnesium is going to be easily oxidized and so it is losing its electrons and transferring them to copper and copper is going to gain these electrons. Um, make sure when you are using this simulation that it's set to level zero. Um, for National 5 chemistry, you don't need anything higher than zero um, and all of the other things for the moment can be kept the same. So I hope this helps.